Ron DeSantis and Adam Putnam are vying for the Republican nomination for governor. I caught up with two of their supporters in the spin room at last night's debate. Look, Ron DeSantis is willing to put in the long days. He's got great stamina, just like Donald Trump. It's probably one of the reasons Donald Trump endorsed him. Ron is incredibly bright. He's someone who has great aptitude when he uh, observes issues, and he's very principled. He knows how to take the challenges that Floridians face every day and, and run them through a set of ideas, and or ideals, I should say, and principles that are conservative and that will lead to a better quality of life for people. And so, again, you know, when you look at Ron's record in the Congress, uh, he stood up against the sexual harassers and introduced the toughest bill to expose them and force them to pay money back. He has sponsored the bill that's got the broadest support for term limits. So on the issues that I think matter to Floridians, Ron's been a real leader in Washington. I'm really exciting, excited about seeing how that uh, will manifest here in Florida. Do you feel like he, he won the debate tonight? Uh, absolutely. Like Look, there was one issue that caused the candidates to really exchange ideas, and it was the issue of illegal immigration. Adam Putnam has no answer for the fact that he was the only Florida Republican to join with Nancy Pelosi in, in favor of amnesty. He had no answer for the fact that when we had a chance to implement E-Verify in Florida, he personally went to the floor of the Florida Senate and killed it. He offered no response, no rebuttal. That's because it's all the difficulties true. was what we saw with Congressman DeSantis, and I say it all the time, he doesn't know Florida law. He's sitting there saying, if I was governor, if I have the power to remove Israel or remove somebody who engages in a sanctuary city, then I, if I have that power, I'll do it. Well, it's in the Constitution. You have that power. Mm -hmm. Just read our Constitution. It's, it's pretty evident. And then he talks about fighting sanctuary cities. We've passed that bill three years in a row out of the legislature. Guess who never came to Tallahassee, never testified before a committee, never even sent us a letter or gave us a phone call? Ron DeSantis. Right. At the end of the day, the, the, the reality is he's do nothing to Santos. And right. it showed. Not one single vision, not one single issue did he have. All he said 19,000 times was Trump, Trump, Trump. Uh, but that's not a reason to, to elect someone to the third largest state in the in the greatest country in the history of the world. All voters, all elections, ultimately when they get in there it's about trust. Why did Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton? Despite all of the opposition from the liberal media and the left, how did Donald Trump ultimately win? Anyone will tell you because at the end of the day, nobody trusted Hillary Clinton. They don't trust her. And the same thing's going to be, who do you trust, Adam Putnam or Ron DeSantis? Ron DeSantis gets up there and says, I'm a true blue conservative. He's got Congressman Gates over here championing him for him. But Congressman Gates voted against raising the debt limit and taking another trillion dollars and pouring it on the backs of our children and grandchildren. Ron DeSantis voted for it. I mean, that, that's liberalism. And what was it for? It was all for wasteful government spending. How do you add another trillion dollars in 12 months of wasteful government spending and stand before that crowd and tell them you're a true conservative? It, it, People are going to see through it. He doesn't have that trust issue. It's going to break down, and Adam Putnam will win hands down in the next 50 days. Right.